Hello everyone, welcome back to this lecture series on complex analysis. In this video, I am going to talk about different regions in the complex plane. Uh, first of all, these circles. Suppose uh, Z0 equals X0 plus I Y0 be a fixed point. Then uh, the points Z, X plus I Y that satisfy the equation modulus of z minus z0 equals to rho for rho positive lie on a circle of radius rho centered at the point z0 we know that uh, the modulus z minus z0 means the distance of the point z from the z0 and if the distance of the z from z0 is always a fixed constant then that means that uh, all the points z are at the same distance rho from the point fixed point z0 so z0 becomes the center and rho is the radial and all the points that lie at a fixed distance from z0 so it's a circle okay so all the points z which are on here have a fixed distance rho from the center z0 okay so it's a equation of circle for example, if we write z modulus of z is equal to 1, then it is a equation of a unit circle okay, centered at the origin. Okay. Similarly, if we write modulus of z minus 1 plus 3i is equal to 5. So it is an equation of circle of radial 5 units and centered at point 1 minus 3i. Okay. So z0 is 1 minus 3i. The next definition is disk and the neighborhoods. Okay. So the points z that satisfy the inequality modulus of z minus z0 less than equal to epsilon. So again the distance of the point z from z0 is either equals to epsilon or is less than epsilon. When this is equal to epsilon that means uh, the points are on the circle of radial epsilon and if it is strictly less than epsilon that means the point z's are at a distance less than epsilon from the center z node so either when this is equal then the points are on the circle or when it is strictly less than the points are inside the circle okay so this forms a disk of radial epsilon centered at z0 okay so when the equality is there points lie here on the boundary of this circle and when the distance of z from z0 is less than this radial then the points are inside okay so the region inside this and we call this as a disk of radius epsilon and center at z0 So the set of points that satisfy strict inequality z minus z0 less than epsilon lies within and not on the circle of radius epsilon center at z0 this set is called the neighborhood of z0 okay so if we say that this the points which whose distance from the center is less than the radial okay then that this then we say that it is the neighborhood of z0 Occasionally, we also need to use a neighborhood of z0 that excludes z0. Okay? So, that can be written in this form that 0 less than modulus of z minus z0 less than epsilon. This right hand inequality means that the distance of point z from z0 is less than epsilon. Okay? So, we are in the interior or inside this circle and the left inequality that 0 less than z minus z0 simply means that the distance of z from z0 is strictly positive that means z cannot be the point z0 so we have excluded the center so we call it a deleted neighborhood of z0 okay deleted neighborhood of z0 means z0 is excluded from the neighborhood 
Now the interior, exterior and boundary points. A point Z0 is said to be an interior point of a set S of a complex plane if there exists some neighborhood of Z0 such that only that contains only points of S. Okay? So any point is interior point if we can construct a neighborhood on that point such that the all the points in the neighborhood are inside the set. Okay? Point Z0 is said to be an exterior point of S when there exists a neighborhood of it containing no points of S. Okay? So any point will be an exterior point if we construct a neighborhood at this such that all the points in that neighborhood are not from this set, they are outside this set. A point Z0 is a boundary point of S if all neighborhoods contain at least one point in S and at least one point not in S. Okay, so let us uh, see what exactly we mean by here. Say you have uh, this and uh, any point will be called an interior point. Say if we have Z0 here, then if I draw a neighborhood if it is possible to draw a neighborhood that such that every point lies inside S, okay, then it is an interior point. Say any point will be called exterior point, say Z0 is here and if I draw it is possible to draw a neighborhood such that every point is outside of S, okay. And any point will be called a boundary point, say Z0 is here, then this point will be boundary point because if I draw a neighborhood here then there is at least one point on this side and there is at least one point on this side so there is at least one point of s and at least one point which is not in s okay so only those points will be boundary points which have at least one point from the s and one from from which is not in s if we draw some neighborhood at that point For example, modulus of z is equal to 1 is the boundary of each of these sets. Okay? Modulus of z is equal to 1 is a unit circle. Okay? And so it is a boundary of the modulus of z less than 1 means the region inside the circle, exterior to circle or the disk okay? is the boundary of all these types of regions. Open and closed sets. If every point of Z, every point Z of a set S is an interior point, then S is said to be an open set. Okay, so every point will be interior point. That means on every point, if we draw a neighborhood, the neighborhood is inside the set. Then it is a open set. Okay, so that means boundaries are not part of this set. For example, the strict inequality that imaginary z is less than 0. So every point, the set consisting of every point below the x-axis, okay, lower half plane. This is an open set because if you take any point here and draw, it is possible to draw a neighborhood such that every point is inside this. Okay? So that is possible for every point here. Okay? Or an infinite vertical strip with minus 1 less than real z less than 1 okay so with strict inequalities that means the 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 point dashed are not included okay so if we take any point here and draw a neighborhood that lies entirely within this strip okay similarly modulus of z greater than 1 so it is the exterior of the circle exterior of unit circle so outside this unit circle and these boundary points are not included so if you draw any point anywhere on this and uh, it is possible to draw a neighborhood such that every point is inside this set. Okay, So these are all examples of open set. A set is closed if it contains all of its boundary points and the closure of a set S is closed set consisting of all points of S together with its boundary of S. Okay? So we'll call uh, any set closed if all the boundary points are also part of that set. 
and closure of set means the all the points of the set along with the boundary points okay for example modulus of z less than equal to 1 so the disk a unit disk is closed because the boundary points that is mod z is equal to 1 the circle is a boundary point that is part of this set okay so it's a closure of set some sets are of course neither open nor closed okay so there is possibility that a set is not open and also not closed Okay. For a set not to be open, there must be a boundary point contained in it because open set there is no boundary point. So if there is at least one boundary point then it is not open. Similarly, a set is not closed if there exist boundary points that are not in the set because closed sets are when every boundary point is there. Okay. So it is not closed if there is a boundary which is not part of the set. For example, this this is a disk with deleted center okay so on the one side the boundary is included on the other side the boundary is not included okay so it is neither open nor closed connected sets and domain an open set is is connected if each pair of points Z1 and Z2 in it can be joined by a polygon line consisting of a finite number of line segments joined end to end that lies entirely in S. Okay, for example, this. Okay, so uh, here it is a annulus. Okay, this annulus that one less than modulus Z less than two. That means uh, the region bounded by two concentric circles centered at origin and radius one unit and radius two units. So this is the region okay, that we are taking and this region is connected because if I take any two points anywhere in this then these two points can be joined through a polygon line which is finite in number joint end to end. Okay, so if we can join these two points by taking straight lines and those straight lines joined end to end and lies entirely within this region. Okay, so if we can join any two points by straight lines without leaving the region then that region is a connected region. Okay, the open set mode Z less than 1 is connected. Okay, so a simple this inner part mode Z less than one means this region inside so you take any two points you can join them directly without leaving the region okay so these are all connected regions now a non-empty open set okay that is connected is called a domain okay so what is a domain a non-empty set which is open and connected okay by saying open means there is no boundary point okay and connected means that you take any two points do you can join those two points by taking finite number of straight lines segments joined end to end okay uh, for example uh, the this we already taken lower half plane this whole region okay this is a domain domain because uh, this is a open the boundary is not part of this and uh, you take any two point here and you can directly join them without any problem by using straight lines similarly an infinite vertical strip is open and it is connected because you take any two points you can join them directly without leaving this region okay what is a not a domain okay the set of numbers z satisfying real part of z not equal to 4 is not a domain okay so now uh, this uh, this line is x equals 4 that means the real part of z real part of z is x so real part of z not equals to 4 is this line so so this set of z satisfying that this is not equal to 4 okay, is not a domain so set of number z which satisfies this means all on the left hand side and all on the right hand side of this vertical line okay so this is not a domain 
because uh, uh, it is not connected if if we take uh, any point z1 on left side and any and one point z2 on the right side then these two points cannot be joined by any straight line without leaving the set that means we it has to cross this line so it must take at least one point on this line so it is not a domain okay? because it is not connected region a uh, region is a set of points in the complex plane with all some or none of its boundary points okay so since open set does not contain any boundary points it is automatically a region okay so all open sets are regions a region that contains all of its boundary points is said to be closed okay so a open set is called a open region and a region with all boundary points is a closed region the disk defined by this okay so we already said that this is a disk okay is an example of a closed region and is referred to as closed disk a neighborhood of z not defined by z minus z not less than rho okay it's a open set or open region and is said to be an open disk the center z not is deleted from either a closed disk or open disk the regions then we can define okay so this is a closed disk okay closed and uh, deleted neighborhood okay so closed disk with deleted center open disk with deleted center so we call them punctured disk and finally a bounded set a set s is bounded if every point of s lies inside some circle mode z is equal to capital r otherwise it is unbounded okay so we will call any set s bounded if we can draw a circle with center or region and some radius such that that set lies inside this circle okay if it is not possible to draw any circle with center or region for any radius then we call that set as unbounded okay for example uh, the interior of circular ring mode z less than 1 uh, greater than 1 and less than 2 so this annulus region is bounded because we can draw with center or region and some radius r such that this region is inside that okay or if there is any general uh, set s then uh, and if we can draw a circle with center or region and some radius r such that this is entirely inside then this is bounded okay unbounded for example the lower half plane because it is not possible to draw any circle with center or region and radius any large possible because some points will always be outside okay or a vertical infinite vertical strip from the center you draw any circle there are some points always outside that circle okay it doesn't matter how large you take this okay some points will always be outside that circle so these are unbounded sets next video will be about functions of a complex variable you can share your feedback in the comment box also do share these videos with your friends and student community thanks for watching this video keep learning